Welcome to Weather Extra on CBSN Bay Area. I'm KPIX 5 meteorologist Paul Hagen. Every week, we're taking a closer look at a weather topic, a deeper dive than what we can do within our daily weather casts on KPIX. Since the autumnal equinox is this week, it's a good time to look at how autumn has been changing here in the Bay Area and across the country. We'll start with the national perspective. You shouldn't be surprised to learn that fall is getting warmer due to climate change. Climate Central recently analyzed 51 years of autumn temperature data in 246 U.S. locations. 234 of those 246 cities, that's 95 percent, experienced an increase in average fall temperature since 1970. And 57 percent of those cities experienced warming of at least two degrees Fahrenheit. Here in the Bay Area, the increase has been even steeper. The average autumn temperature has warmed by two and a half degrees in San Jose and by over three degrees in San Francisco. That's two full degrees Celsius, which is substantial. The increase in the number of fall days with above average temperatures has also been significant. Over two weeks worth of those days in San Jose and a four week increase in the number of days with above average temperatures in San Francisco. Why such a big increase? In this warming climate, we're seeing more frequent, longer, and more intense offshore wind events, which are responsible for the Bay Area's warmest days in autumn. Okay, so fall is warming up pretty much across the board. Why is that important compared to the warming trend in other seasons? For starters, air conditioners are running later into the year, upping energy costs and greenhouse gas emissions. The Energy Information Association projects that air conditioning demand will be responsible for the greatest increase in residential and commercial energy through 2050, causing, costing American homeowners $29 billion annually. California has already committed to the transition to cleaner energy sources, aiming to be carbon neutral by 2045. But the transmission grid is still in the process of being modernized, and cooling demand is also threatened by power outages caused by extreme weather events like strong winds, heat waves, and wildfires. Speaking of fires, hotter falls also mean a longer wildfire season, a fact with which we are already well acquainted. In addition to the threats to life and property presented by the fires themselves, we also have to deal with the smoke those fires produce. More poor air quality, stagnant air days here in the Bay Area and across California overall. And adding even a few extra days to each wildfire season stretches state and federal firefighting resources that much more. Let's focus on the good news for a second. The fact that fall is here means that we are closer to the onset of the next rainy season towards the end of autumn. After a severely underwhelming 2020-2021 rainy season, we're all hoping for a return to normal rainfall this year or at least something close. The first atmospheric river of the season soaked the Pacific Northwest last weekend, but the majority of that moisture remained north of us here in the Bay Area. The latest update from the Climate Prediction Center looking ahead to meteorological winter, December, January, and February, continues to show a significant chance of below average rainfall this winter for most of California, including the Bay Area. That's not good, but slightly below average rainfall would actually help us out. We just need to avoid another exceptionally dry winter like we had last year. We'll keep looking for those rain chances as we head deeper into autumn. That's it for this week's Weather Extra. Meteorologist Darren Peck will be back next week to cover another topic, and we are inviting you to play a role. If you have a weather or climate question, just email it to weatherextra at kpix.cbs.com.